Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 9 of our C Sharp for Automation testing video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about working with methods. And this video is actually a complete continuation of part 8 since in part 8 we already spoke about working with methods and how to create method and how to use the method overloading to see if we pass a different parameters for the same method name we can still differentiate the methods and perform some operation over there but in this video we are going to do a little different operation like returning a value out from a method and that's what we're going to deal in this video so for that let's flip to visual studio so this is the same project which we are working in our last video which is part 8 and we created two methods which is something like this add without any parameters and add with two parameters in it but as you can see in our previous method we were actually executing calculation the addition operation right here and we are printing the result like this in the console.write line this is a add method for two parameters and here's the result but what if this i want to perform an addition operation and also i need to add with additional number let's say Every time I add two numbers, 12 plus 12, I also have to add a maybe additional number, maybe plus 10 or something like that. So if I want to do something like this, this is not going to work out. Because if I call this add method, it is going to do a addition operation right here in this method and it's going to show the results out there. But what if I want to return a value out from this method? In order for doing that, there is a very cool keyword available within our C sharp, which is nothing but return keyword. So this return keyword will work in combination with the return type that you specify in here. Remember in our method syntax that we saw, there is a return type as well. So this void is actually saying that there is no return type for this method for now. So if I specify a return type here, Let's say I'm going to return a integer value because it's going to do a addition operation, something like this. So if I don't want to print this value right here this time, and let's say if I don't specify the return keyword here, you can see that this method will show you some scrolly line there saying not all code paths returns a value, meaning it's actually saying that you need to return a value out from this method. So for doing that, there is a keyword called return. And then you need to return the result, something like this. So if you do a return, then meaning it is going to return a value out from this method. So you can either do this way, maybe num1 plus num2 and you assign to a variable and then you return it. Rather, you can do it by refactoring the code in such a way that you just don't even have to write so many code, something like this. Just delete that right let's delete it and let's write something like this written num1 plus num2 that's it this will actually return a value for you so you don't have to explicitly specify a type like int result and then pass it uh, to that result value and then perform an addition operation it's not completely required you can also do like this because it knows that the return type is actually an integer so if you specify string here you can see that it will show you an error saying cannot implicitly convert type int to string again remember we were talking something about implicitly type conversion explicit type conversion right the same thing here so let's not do something crazy here so integer and then let's go to the program.cs and here this time i'm going to specify the same thing see there is no change in this syntax yet even if you add a return type for the method but if you hover this mouse this time, do you see there is something called int in the blue color before the test class one dot add? It actually says that it's a return type for that method. So let's say I'm going to take the result as an integer type right here. And my quest is to add a additional value with the result which I'm getting. So 12 plus 12 is going to be 24 and I want to do a additional operation of plus 10 and show the result. So console.write line result 
plus 10. So let's see how it works. So if I try to run this code this time, you can see that it is bringing me 34. So 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 10 is 34. That's it. So this is how you can actually get a value out from a method using the return keyword and then you can perform the operation. And these are the kind of operation you may be encountering while doing an automation testing with Selenium or Core UI testing with C Sharp, right? So this is how you can perform some additional operations using a method with a return keyword and return type, right? So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.